Several years ago, Ron Paul, the congressman who's now running for president, asked his fellow congressman, is America becoming a police state? All indications seem that that may be happening at this particular time. And most people don't see it because most people don't realize what's happening. One of the great concerns is the increased militarization of the police. And uh, this has been made possible through uh, congressional legislation, which allows the Pentagon to give excess equipment to local police departments around the United States. You have counties in some areas of this country that only have 50,000 people living, living in the, actually in the county, but they have assault rifles given to them by the M16s given to them by the Pentagon, uh, assault vehicles, helicopters, boats, periscopes, flat jackets, all this, this kind of equipment. Um, one would imagine, what, what do you use that, that kind of equipment for? Well, this in part explains uh, why we've seen the increased use of SWAT teams. For example, in 1980, there were only 3,000 SWAT team deployments in the United States. By 2001, that had increased to, to 40,000. And many of these so-called no-knock raids that are happening in, in uh, uh, cities across the United States and to a lot of innocent people. Uh, it's become increasingly difficult to tell the, the, the postman from the, from the police because most, and again, most people don't realize this, there are 83,000, at least 83,000 federal agents running around this country armed to the teeth with all kinds of weapons. Drug enforcement agents, FBI agents, NASA agents, believe it or not. Uh, these are people you'd never expect to have be, be carrying a weapon. Uh, conservation officers, you're talking about uh, game wardens now, armed to the teeth. Uh, someone recently said, Smokey the Bear is no longer friendly. Unfortunately, this has resulted in some tragedies, uh, many tragedies, by the way, where uh, uh, someone tips agents off, uh, whatever federal agents, could be IRS agents, uh, they take along with them uh, armed NASA agents. And you're talking about the agency that's uh, shooting uh, the space shuttle in outer space, but they're armed to the teeth as well. There's a well-known well case that happened in the early 90s uh, where a millionaire uh, was suspected of having marijuana in his home. He was raided by a whole group of different agents from FBI to NASA to drug enforcement agents, all bust through his door, no-knock raid, and uh, he didn't have any marijuana in his home. Uh, of course, he looked up, resisted, he ended up getting shot and killed. He, he, he wasn't even guilty. There are 40,000 of these type of raids that are not documented across the United States on an annual basis, and it seems to be increasing. What we developed in the United States is what the, what the Founding Fathers called a standing army, something they hated and they mistrusted, and they all spoke out against standing armies. Uh, that's one reason we had the American Revolution. Uh, James Madison, the father of our Constitution, spoke out vigorously. He says, these are the instruments of tyr tyranny, and, and you know what we have today? These instruments of tyranny are now in place in the United States.